Yeah, good evening, children. Welcome to Akshar IIT Foundation. This is Srinivas. Welcome to today's class. <coughs> right. So today we are going to discuss about the divisibility rules. Let us see them. So actually, divisibility rules are used to calculate how the number will be divisible in the given numbers. That means without doing the actual division, we can identify the number will be divisible or not. Okay. So let us discuss some important rules like divisibility rule for 2, divisibility rule for 5 and divisibility rule for 10. So while you are comparing with the 2 to 10 numbers, let us discuss the rule number 2, rule 5 and rule 10 because these three rules are having a common link that is we are just checking the units place digit of a number. We are just taking the units place digit of a number. Units place digit or ones place digit, both are same. So, for example, the last digit or units place digit of a number, last digit or units place digit of a number is 0 or even number, 0 or even, then the entire number will be divisible by 2. Last digit or units place digit is 0 or even number, then the entire number is divisible by 2. Let us see one example. So, 256308. While you are observing this number, 2,56,308, it is ending with the digit 8. Nothing but its units place digit is 8. So, 8 is an even number, right? So, the entire number is divisible by 2 table. Let us check by common division. Right. Yeah, 2 ones are 2. 0 remainder, 5 carried on. 2 2 is 4. 1 remainder, 6 down. 2 8s are 16. 0 remainder, again 3. 2 ones are 2. Again 0 down. 2 fives and the continuation part 8. 2 fours are 8. That means without leaving any reminder, the given number is divisible by 2 table because it is ending with the digit 8. 8 is an even number. Or in the place of 8, you can see 0 or 2, 4, 6, 8. If you see any one of the numbers or any one of the digits in its units place, we can say the entire number will be divisible by two table. Okay. In same way, while you are observing for rule number 5, divisibility rule for 5, the last digit of a number is 0 or 5. The last digit of a number is 0 or 5, then the entire number is divisible by 5 table. Okay, same way, divisibility rule for 10. The last digit or units place digit of a number is 0, only 0. Then we can say that the entire number is divisible by 10 table. So, while you are observing here 2 rule, 5 rule and 10 rule, these 3 rules, we are just checking the units place digit of a number. If the units place digit of a number is 0 or even number, then the number is divisible by 2 or 0 or 5 then the number is divisible by 5 only 0 then the number is divisible by 10. So based on the unit play digit these three divisibility rules are derived. Okay. Let us go to the second set of numbers like 3 and 9. 3 rule or 9th rule. That means, if a composite number is divisible by 3 or 9, we can check by using this rule without doing actual division, without doing any actual division. So, simply the rule is sum of digits of a number, sum of digits of a composite number or prime number, whatever, sum of digits of a number is 
divisible by 3 or multiple of 3 both are same divisible by 3 that means the entire number will be divisible by 3 table let us see one example here for example i am taking a composite number 2,34,568 this is the number while you are observing this number is divisible by 2 or not yes it is divisible by 2 because its units place digit is 8 its units place digit is 8 8 is an even number so we can say the entire number is divisible by 2 table we have discussed in our previous divisibility rule if this number is divisible by 3 or not, how to check sum of the digits of a number, sum of the digits. Here how many digits are there? There are 6 digits, it is 6 digit number. Let us add each, each digit. So 2 plus, 3 plus, 4 plus, 5 plus, 6 plus, 8. So 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 5, 14, 14 plus 6, 20, 20 plus 8, 28. The sum of the digits is 28, but 28 is not a multiple of 3. 28 is not a multiple of 3. Then we can say that this entire number is not divisible by 3. What is our rule actually? Sum of digits of a number is multiple of 3 or is divisible by 3. Then the entire number is divisible by 3 table clear right so but while we checking here the sum of digits is 28 28 is not a multiple of 3 so we can decide this entire number this entire composite number is not a divisible by 3 table clear okay now let us check this number 1 one, two, three, four, five. Twelve thousand three hundred and forty-five. Is it divisible by three table or not? For checking this, we need to add all of its digits. What are the digits here? First digit is one. Second digit is two. Third digit is three. Fourth digit and fifth digit. So sum of all its digits. So one plus two is three. Three plus three six. Six plus four ten. Ten plus five is 15. So, sum of digits of this number, of this composite number is 15 and even we know that 15 is a multiple of 3. 15 is a multiple of 3. Then we can decide this entire number is divisible by 3. Let us check by common division method. Right. So, 3 is a single digit number. Let us check first digit single digit is 1, 1 is lesser than 3, so we can check 2 digits together, yeah it is 12, so 3 4s are 12, the remainder is 0, bring down the next digit 3, 3 1s are 3, again remainder is 0, bring down the digit 4, 3 1s are 3, remainder 1 and last digit is 5, 3 5s 15, remainder is 0. That means the 3 is divide the given composite number exactly without leaving any remainder. That means we can decide the composite number 12345 is divisible by 3 table. Without the actual division also we have, we can identify by the divisibility rule of 3. What is the divisibility rule of 3? Sum of its digits is multiple of 3. Sum of its digits is multiple of 3 or divisible by 3. Clear? As I told you, like 2, 5, 10 are following the same pattern. That means we are checking in units place digit, right? Same way, 3 and 9 also are following a pattern that is sum of its digits. So, based on this, can you say the divisible rule for 9? Yes, what is that? Sum of digits of a number is the 
very good sum of this of a number is divisible by 9 while we checking for three table it should be divisible by 3 while you checking for 9 it should be divisible by 9 clear so until then we completed 2 5 10 3 rules and third one also completed now let us check ninth rule ninth rule and rule 3 both are same let us check the same problem here 2 3 4 5 what is the sum of digits we got here 15 15 is a multiple of 9 or not 15 is a multiple of 9 no so the entire number is not divisible by 9 according to the divisible rule for 9 sum of digits is multiple of 9 sum of digits is multiple of 9 so we can say sum of digits of this number is 15 so the entire number is not divisible by 9 clear yeah let us see one more example let us see this yeah sum of its digits 2 plus 5 7 7 plus 6 13 13 plus 3 16 plus 2 18 18 plus 9 27 Yes, 27 is a multiple of 9 or not? Yes, 27 in 9 table 3 times. So, 27 is a multiple of 9. Therefore, the entire number 2,56,329 is divisible by 9. Okay? So, it is divisible by 9. Got it, right? So, we learn 2 rule, 3 rule, yeah, 2 already completed, 3, 5 completed, 9 and 10. Until then, you have learned just 5 rules. Among them, 2, you know, 2, 3, 5, 9, 10. But there is a one rule that is depending on both rules, that is rule 6. Actually, rule 6 does not have any specific rule. It is depending on combination of rule 2 and rule 3. Because 6 can be expressing as 2 into 3. 2, 3 is a 6. So, we can say that if a number follows 2 rule as well as 3 rule, then the number exactly divisible by 6. Okay, no? That means, if a number is divisible by both 2 and 3, that means if it is it should be divisible by two table as well as three table then only we can decide the entire number is divisible by six table that's what i'm writing if a number is divisible by both two and three then it is divisible by six Okay. Right. Let us check one example. <coughs> yeah. Two five six three eight twenty five thousand six thirty eight. Is it divisible by two or not? What is the divisible rule for two? Units place digit or last digit of a composite number is even or zero. 8 is an even number, so we can decide this number is divisible by 2. What is the divisible rule for 3? Sum of its digit is multiple of 3. Sum of its digit is multiple of 3. Let us check. Yeah, 2 plus 5, 7. 7 plus 6, 13. 13 plus 3, 16. And 16 plus 8, 24. 24 is also a multiple of 3. Therefore, the entire number is divisible by 3. So, this number is divisible by 2 as well as 3. Then, the entire number is divisible by 6 also. This is the divisibility rule for 6. Not only 6, we can apply for any composite number. That means, that number can be 
expressed as product of co primes product of co primes we already discussed what are the co primes co primes are relatively prime numbers both are same co primes are relatively primes simply if you take any two numbers there is no common factor except one no common factor between two numbers except one then the two numbers are called co primes are relatively prime numbers clear because one is a factor for every number so if you take any composite number like 12 for example 12 is there we don't have a uh, any specific rule for 12 so 12 we can express as product of two co primes 3 into 4 while you're observing 3 and 4 there is no common factor except one so we can say 3 and 4 are composite number sorry co primes are relatively prime numbers that means if a number is divisible by 3 rule as well as 4 rule we can say the entire number is divisible by 12 rule also that means 12 table clear right so 3 9 6 also completed let us check for divisibility rule for 4 and 25 because these two also following a pattern let us identify them so for checking the fourth rule that means for checking the given number the given composite number is divisible by 4 or not we need to check last two digits how many last two digits but while we checking for 2 5 10 we are just checking only the last digit last digit in the sense only one's place digit or units place digit here last two digits last two digits means it is one's digit and tens one's place digit and tens place digit the last two digits of a number are zeros are multiples of 4 zeros are multiples of 4 then the entire number is divisible by 4 then the entire number is divisible by 4 that means last digit can be uh, last two digits can be zeros or 04 04 04 also a multiple of 4 04 08 12 16 20 24 20, 20, like while you are observing last two digits if these numbers are presenting in the last two digits we can discuss uh, we can say the entire number is divisible by 4 the entire number is divisible by 4 clear yeah so 2 5 10 we have discussed only we are just checking only the units plus digit but 4 and 25 we are checking last two digits nothing but ones plus digit and tens plus digit can okay, i please note it Now, can you guess the rule twenty-five now? Because I already told you that four and twenty-five both are following a same pattern. Hmm. Same like three and nine, two, five, ten. Yes, it is also. We need to check last two digits of a composite number. A last two digits of a number. Clear? Yeah. Last two digits of a number is hmm, zeros are. very good multiples of 25 multiples of 25 then we can discuss the entire number is divisible by 25 same like four rule last two digits in the sense ones and tens digit ones plus digit or tens plus digit then the entire number is divisible by 25 clear yeah let us see one example 
So I'll write some composite numbers. They are divisible by each rule or not. Let us check. Yeah, until then we have discussed two rule, five, ten, three, and nine. Also we have discussed and four twenty five. Okay, na? right. So let us check all this together. I'm giving some numbers randomly. Let us check the given numbers are divisible by each rule or not. Now let me check the divisibility rule for two. What is the divisibility rule for two? Last digit is zero or even number. See the first number. First number is ending with the digit eight. That means eight is an even number, so it is divisible by two. Let us check for second number. Last digit is zero. Yes, it is also divisible by two. Third one also divisible by two because the zero is presenting in its units place digit. And here two, eight, eight. Yeah. While you are observing these, all composite numbers are divisible by two table because all are ending with zeros or even numbers. Okay, na? No? Check. Now let us check for divisible rule for five. What is the divisible rule for five? The last digit of a number is. Zero or five. Last digit of a number is zero or five. So the first number is divisible by five table. No, because its units place it is eight. So eight is not a zero or not a five. So the first number is not divisible by five table. Now second number, yes, it is divisible by five because it is ending with the digit is zero. Next third one, it is also divisible by five. Four, five, six. These three are not divisible by five table because they are not ending with the digits zero or five. So we can conclude that the numbers are not exactly divisible by five table. Okay. Let us check for ten. What is the tenth rule? Last digit must be zero, nothing else. Only zero. That means second. And third, second number and third number exactly divisible by ten, but remaining numbers are not divisible by ten because they are not ending with the digit zero. Clear? Right. Next, sum of its digits. I am writing there some here only because it is useful for checking three rule as well as nine rule both. What is the sum of the digits? One plus five six. Six plus three nine, nine plus six fifteen, and fifteen plus eight twenty four. Next three, because only the numbers presenting here one and two remaining are zeros. If you add the numbers to the zeros, the same number will come. Next here five plus five ten. Now this one two plus nine eleven. Eleven plus three fourteen twenty twenty one twenty eight thirty. Sum of digits is thirty. Now here ten. This is nine. Now check divisibility rule for three is nothing but sum of its digits are multiple of three. That means the number should be coming in three table. Then only we can say that the entire number is divisible by three. First number was twenty-four. Yes, twenty-four is a multiple of three. Exactly eight times three eights are twenty twenty-four. So we can say that the first number is divisible by three. Second number total is three, so it is also divisible by three. First multiple of three. Third number ten. Ten is not a multiple of three. We can conclude the given number is not divisible by three. Okay, fourth one thirty. Yes, it is divisible by three. Fifth one ten, ten is not a multiple of three, and sixth one is nine. Okay. 
right? Nine rule also. Nine rule means it should be multiple of nine. So twenty four is not a multiple of nine. Three is not a multiple. Ten is not a multiple. Except the last one, remaining are not divisible by nine table because sum of its digits is not divisible by nine. Now fourth rule. What is the fourth rule? Last two digits. Last two digits of a number is zero or multiple of four. Last two digits is sixty-eight. Sixty-eight is multiple of four. Exactly seventeen times. Four seventeen is a sixty-eight. So the first number is divisible by four table. Now last two digits are zeros. Yes. In the rule only given, last two digits are zeros or multiple of four. We can say that the entire number is divisible by four. Next, last two digits here also. Zeros, seventy-two, seventy-two also multiple of four. Zero eight, last two digits. Zero eight also multiple of four. Zero eight is nothing but eight only. Next, last one also multiple of four. Yes, all are multiples of four. So we can say that all the numbers are divisible by four table. Now coming to last one, divisible rule for twenty-five. What is the divisible rule for twenty-five? Last two digits are zeros or multiple of twenty-five. Last two digits sixty-eight is not coming in twenty-five table. Twenty-five table only twenty-five, fifty, seventy-five, or hundred. Hundred means last two digits zeros only. So it is not a multiple. Not divisible by twenty-five. Yeah. Second one is divisible. Third one is divisible because those two numbers ending with the two zeros. Remaining three is not divisible. Clear? Yeah. Now your work is you have to take some random numbers and check all these divisibility rules one by one, same like this table. Then you will have an idea completely about these divisibility rules. Clear, children? Yeah. That's it for today. Just check them. Yeah. Thank you for one and all. Have a nice day.